I just finished installing the Ashley stove and there was many steps to it. I followed the instructions and there's a few little nuances that I'm going to try and point out for the install. So let's see a few of the steps and how we, how we installed it. So I'm going to install a propane heater which is the Ashley DVA G11 and I'm going to be putting it right here so you go inside and it has measurements and a table and it tells you that uh, the first thing is C you have to be 20 and 3 sixteenths above the floor so it doesn't matter if you're higher it just can't go lower so that's the first thing I've got to figure out is 20 and 3 sixteenths off the floor right there is level let me check something nope I'm going to need to be higher because I cannot have my unit hitting down here. So I'll have to go higher. Yep. So I'm about four inches low. Left stud is here right stud is here but I'm going to go left side which is the B measurement and B says 6 and 13 sixteenths from the center of the stud so 6 and 13 sixteenths 6 and 13 sixteenths So I'm starting at the one foot mark, going over six, six and a half, six and three quarters, and there six and thirteen sixteenths. So now I can take my level, get this level there. This is my center. So there's my center of where the actual stove goes. Because if you look on the back, the difference in the measurements is because one side is offset on the back of the stove. So this side is offset this way, this one is offset this way. And they're two different measurements. So in order to get it to line up correctly, you have to put it on this side whatever the measurements are. If you're going from this side which is A measurement is 9 and 1 8. So I'd have to go 9 and 1 8 based upon the center of this stud. My next calculation is how to make a square around that. Because this is the heat shield. So I've got to have this heat shield to go in here. So that heat shield goes in there and it says for D, which is the square going around, is 11 and 1 fourth. 5 and 5 eighths. Okay. So. From this direction, I need to go five and five eighths right there. I'm going to make it easier and start out in an inch, which means I go six and five eighths. 
Okay. So I go six and five eighths this way because I'm starting at one inch. Five eighths. Starting at one inch. So I need to go six and five eighths, which would put me right there. Come down. Six and five eighths is right. There. Okay. To get the bottom one, it's easy. Flip it over. spacers to go behind There's two small screws, two small screws that go on top. All right, I've got the two pipes. And the first one fits over, and this is the exhaust, and this is the collar that goes around it. I'm going to have to trace around it and cut it off. Did everything flush? So here's my mark that I'm going to cut.
So this, the exhaust pipe, chimney pipe, is longer now, so I've got to cut this, this amount off of this one so that they match. So I cut this much off of the other one on the external pipe. So I've got to cut the same distance off the flue pipe to make them match up so when I hook it to the outside, they will match. So we're going to cut this one off now. These should now match up. And they do. The rod is too long, so I've got to cut three and a half inches off this end as well. It's like a ceramic fabric. And I've got to cut this to wrap it around this vent pipe. This is the mat. This will be the mat that will go around this pipe. So I need to cut it so that it goes around. It's like a ceramic fabric. And I've got to cut this to wrap it around this vent pipe.
put a bead of cock around here, put the face plate on, and then the collar. Okay, there's an O-ring that goes inside the collar. The nut goes on. Please hit the like and subscribe button, then ring the notification bell. Once you ring the bell, select all notifications. Then you'll know when my next video is released. Thanks again for watching Timberline Trekkers, and we'll see you on our next adventure.